comments for the subscribers and I want to say something hopefully I can eat or 500,000 subscribers by my birthday which is coming up very soon well I want to say someone requests a curry chicken recipe from me and I'm gonna definitely make it guys I have a lot of curry chicken on my YouTube channel but guys I'm happy I will do it I'm just happy and you know what I mean if anyone requests anything I will just do it just tell me guys and I will definitely make it for you but if someone requests me some curry chicken I'm gonna make the curry chicken but I'm gonna give it a little twist on it because the person was saying can I give it a different style from the you know but I'm gonna give it this really nice nice way or you can make some curry chicken at home very simple easy done and dusted share with some plain rice love it guys thank you very much for your subscribe for your comments for your in guys you're the star Thank God for you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make it and hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. Thank you very much. Right over here I have some chicken as you can see. I just washed off my chicken, get it clean up and I get the skin removed, chop it up into curry style. Um, right over here I have two pounds of chicken which is gonna be working out to two kilos of chicken. All over here you can see my lemon, all of my season. Right over here, I have a glass of chopped tomato. You can get that at the local shop, supermarket, anywhere. But as you can see, this is all of my seasoning which I'm gonna use. Right over here, I have some spring and some white onion, garlic, also. Guys, um, I tell you, you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel, please. You're gonna love it. As I can see, all of my ingredients, the chicken, wash off into lemon, Lemon over there, I got chicken season, meat season, all purpose season guys. Let's do it. Let's do it now with this nice lovely requested curry chicken recipe. Thank you. Nice one. As you can see, this is my little medium sized spot where now I'm gonna cook my curry chicken in or uh, some other as uh, different kind of stuff. Look inside of it, you can see it even have some little scrape and stuff inside of it. It was a non-stick pack, but I cooked so many things in it, man. I'm telling you, but it's a nice spot. I love to use it. Now, first of all, my pot is on the stove. That's the first thing you need to do, guys. Preheat your pot for about roughly two minutes, two seconds to three seconds. Second thing, I'm gonna put some vegetable oil. That's the vegetable oil. I'm putting roughly a large spoon, two large spoon of vegetable oil inside of the pot. That's the first thing if you do. If you notice, that's the oil inside of the pot. Medium size heat at the moment, roughly two seconds now since I have in the oil so far what I need to do is to put in the seasoning which we just cut up the garlic spring onion and also the white onion you might just say chef Ricardo he didn't tell me why you use much season all right okay I'm gonna tell you the season which I did use I'm using a medium sized white onion and also four four cup of garlic and two sparks of spring onion so you need to start it like this and leave it for it to fry because I want it to fry right to a, a little bit more heat so now if you can see I'm frying out the garlic, spring onion, and white onion. Lovely. Lovely. So, as you can see, roughly three minutes now since I've been frying out the white onion and all of those natural seasoning. Now we're going to put in some curry powder inside of it. I'm going to put in a large spoon of curry powder inside of it. One and a half teaspoon, one and a half spoon of curry powder inside of it, just like that. Then next, you need to give it a nice little stir. Get the curry burn off inside of the pot. You notice what I'm doing right here, guys. As you can see. Then next, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put in some 
one spoon of meat seasoning and also we're gonna put in some everyday season one spoon of everyday season one large spoon and also some chicken seasoning we're gonna put some chicken seasoning also inside of it one spoon of chicken seasoning like this guys that's the chicken seasoning or you must say no Jamaican and love to use season every Jamaican on the own normally put some coarse pepper inside of it normally season their meat the right and proper way then give it a start like this so you, like you're making the egg paste lovely and nice then next what you need to do right over here I have some fresh fresh thyme I'm just gonna I'm not gonna put it on I'm just rubbing off the thyme just like this I'm not going to inside of it those pieces so that's what I'm doing then give it a start just like you're making a paste nice and lovely guys I can, if you never see, oh my day that smells so lovely and nice I love the scent of it it smells so really good the next what you need to do is to get the chicken and put it straight inside of it so as you can see one bit right here guys it's like a paste lovely and nice that's the best best way you could ever make lovely nice curry chicken is to burn out the curry now we're gonna put the chicken inside of it like this that's the chicken make sure you get the chicken clean up wash up really good give it a nice start and then you're gonna see that beautiful color start to come on top of the chicken with all of those seasoning and everything which you just put in you're gonna see the chicken that's changing to that beautiful color so that's the color of the chicken lovely and nice so what you need to do now as you can see simple cover it like this leave it on the stove for roughly one nice good 10 minutes on a medium size eat and it's gonna be sweating its own juice inside of the pot so guys you're gonna love the recipe thank you very much nice but as you can see it spring a little bit of juice by itself inside of it and what I'm gonna simply do now guys I just peel two medium sized potato and a small carrot which I'm just gonna add to it to give it a little color so I'm gonna put them straight inside of it and I was just cooking up until roughly about, about 10 minutes now since I've been at a medium sized eat turn on your stove a little bit low guys not too high so I just put in two small carrots, no, two small potato and a medium sized carrot just to give it a little color. And now I'm gonna add one tin of chopped tomato inside of it like this. Lovely, full of glass. So as you can see, what I did a while ago, I just had that tomato inside of it, guys. Well, most Jamaican when they're cooking it, they do not put tomato inside of it. That's most English people do this. Some people in Jamaica probably might do it, but when I'm cooking a real Jamaican curry chicken, I, don't, I would never put tomato juice inside of it. Love. But you can see, looking lovely so far, I'm gonna add a little bit of water inside of it. Half cup of water inside of it. You don't need too much water, guys. Okay. Then just to make the Irish and the carrot cook and cook them a little bit more. Yes. Give it a little taste to see. Mm. Oh, that tastes really nice. Oh, 
that's really nice guys you're gonna love this one so turn up my stove a little bit more and as you can see looking lovely so far now I'm gonna leave it down to cook it's uh, as you can see guys this is just a nice lovely simple little way or you can cook your curry chicken at home and also you can add a little bit of sweet chili sauce also inside of it bring up the flavor a little bit if you do like you can add a little bit of sweet chili sauce inside of it and also you can simply put a little bit of sugar because the reason why I put sugar in, inside of it a lot of people don't know because I'm a chef and I do a lot of research the sugar will give it a different taste because sugar and curry goes really well a lot of people don't know that but I tell you I do the research and, and I recognize it it do work together really good so as you can see now I'm gonna, gonna just leave this for it to cook down for another 15 minutes so guys as I can see enjoy the recipe this is finished I'm not look at that beautiful really nice looking lovely so now I'm gonna shear it out guys as you can see now it's 20 minutes now since I leave it make it just go and cook and simmer down so now I'm gonna shear it out make you guys can see what I'm talking about looking so lovely and nice with some plain rice at the side ah oh, man look at that guys beautiful beautiful curry chicken recipe today from Chef Ricardo. Enjoy the recipe. I'm gonna plate it out, share it out, and we're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Looking lovely and nice. Thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. We have a lot more recipe for you. as you can see looking so lovely and nice and the coleslaw I'm gonna put a link below for the coleslaw guys but as you can see looking lovely and nice guys I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and this is a curry requested recipe um, someone requested and I just say you know what I will make it I do have a lot of curry on my YouTube channel but that's fine I'm here to cook for anyone so guys enjoy the recipe thank you very much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program we have a lot more recipe coming out for you so enjoy the recipe and thank you very much for requesting this curry chicken from Chef Ricardo if you see anything you like write it and Chef Ricardo will see it and make it for you thank you very much guys <laughs> 